With a simulation setup and show results enabled, let's review the results now displayed in the graphics area. There are five major result settings, results, show deformation, animate, deformation scale, and the color scale. The results drop-down list provides five different result options, von Mises stress, signed von Mises stress, safety factor, max principal stress, and displacement. Signed von Mises stress and max principal stress results are only available after the simulation is complete. Von Mises stress is a scalar value of stress that is computed and used to predict yielding of materials under complex loading from the results of uniaxial tensile tests. It is often used in determining whether a material yields when subjected to a complex loading condition. The default unit for von Mises stress is MPA, but can be altered under units in the account preferences. Signed von Mises stress is similar to the von Mises stress. The sign result calculates the sum of the x, y, and z axes normal stresses, and if the quantity is negative, a minus sign is added before the von Mises stress. This allows you to determine if the stress is in tension or compression. Default units are the same as for von Mises stress. Safety factor is determined by the yield strength divided by the von Mises stress. Safety factor allows you to view how the stress levels for any given instance relate to the tensile yield strength of that instance. This provides a unitless and material-independent analysis of the structural integrity of your design. Max principal stress is the maximum normal stress acting inside the component and its position. Default units are the same as for von Mises stress. Displacement displays the magnitude of elastic deformation across the simulated bodies by default. Displacement is set in millimeters but can be altered under units in the account preferences. The setting to enable show deformation provides a visual for the direction and scaled magnitude of that displacement. The assembly displays the starting position as a wireframe outline of the instances and shows the chosen results plot in the deformed position. The Animate button toggles the movement of the model deformation in the graphics area on or off. Click the Animate icon to visualize the deformation movement. As the simulation is animated, the starting position is shown as an outline of the instances, and the assembly moves based on the applied loads. The animation plays on a loop while the Animate toggle is on. Notice the toggle turns to a stop icon once the animation is playing. Toggle the stop icon to end the animation. The deformation scale is applied when show deformation is enabled or the simulation is animated. The deformation scale allows you to set the scale lower or higher to visually display more or less deformation. The deformation scale is based on the maximum deformation across the assembly. The default is set such that the deformation is 15% of the overall bounding box diagonal. The overall movement is always the same across any scale assembly. The color scale represents the gradient of simulation results that is being shown in the graphics area. The color display can be changed from the simulation panel's colors drop-down list. Relocate the color scale by clicking and dragging the outer edges of the scale. The maximum and minimum of the scale are modifiable value links. Click the link to open the value dialog. Enter a new value and press the Enter key to accept. Alternatively, modify the values utilizing the lowest and or highest values sliding bars. Click and drag to move each bar. Select the value link and click the reset icon in the value dialog to reset a value back to its default. The absolute maximum value, minimum for safety factor, is also displayed, but the default value tends to be more helpful for interpreting results. Hover your cursor over the model in the graphics area to dynamically view local results. Interrogate the results with named views and exploded views. This video reviewed simulation results and all the result settings. The next video discusses working with multiple simulations and adjusting loads.